It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Washington Commanders, and it's all up next. We are just inside the Beltway, about 10 miles east of the Capitol Dome as we come to you from FedEx Field here in Landover. Today, longtime foes square off in the NFC East as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Washington Commanders. Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis with you from our broadcast perch. And Charles, as we get this thing started, what are you going to be keeping your eye on? Special teams. Field position is always a big determiner in a ball game. Who sets their offense up for success the best? That team will win the game. started and we are underway in our nation's capital and not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23 Phillies offense getting ready and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them the second round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma tremendous production in college at two different universities and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did. And what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that and you start to back off, then that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for them. Great way to get the game going. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. From the 46, here's second down and eight. On the option to give to Swift here. Gets through and now an opening. Dancing away at the 35. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Not only an explosive play, but an explosive run. I mean, broken tackles along the way to pick up that yardage. The way things kept churning for him, feet were moving, the legs were driving. Looks like someone who spent his offseason working on hill work, running through sand, all the things that you want to build up those leg muscles. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. On the option to give to Swift here. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. Call it a gain of three on the play. And it's second down. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. 
He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring out the third down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Oh, Brandon, that's a gamer move right there. Facing third down, steps up, calls his own number, and nearly makes the house call. If I'm the coach, I let him take another one right here. Give him a chance to be the first one to hit the end zone after that effort he just gave him. Swift. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. Defensively, they must have been expecting a pass. They were in the dime look out there. I think maybe they were deciding to go with speed on the field rather than bulk. I'm with you a little bit surprising. They wanted people getting to the ball as fast as possible. The lighter shift your defensive backs allow you that opportunity. One more time with Swift. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. No score after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. From back at the three now, this is third and goal. As they've got it as we resume action. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, that's just how they drew it up, C.D. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. And they will be led out by their second-year quarterback. And his task in this situation is making sure this team knows that there's a sense of urgency yet somehow still stays calm because your natural impulse, your first possession is not until the second quarter, is you got to attack right away. Throw something big at them right away. Yeah, you've got to move the ball, but maybe be a little bit careful in doing so. Now first and 10 here for Hal and the Commanders at their 25-yard line. Now a first carry here for Robinson. He'll be dropped after a game of about six across the 30 to the 31. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Complete out to Samuel on the quick throw. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They give him 16 yards there, and it's a Washington first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people have to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. 
Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. On the counter, this is Robinson. Nifty move. And maybe a little over-pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there on a first down again. Give every member of that unit a ton of credit for ripping off such a big gain there because you don't get free for that many yards on a counter in this direction without everybody selling the heck out of it. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. On first down, Hal. Here's a screen for Robinson. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. As a pass away, he's trying to find an open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of the defense. Now second and three. Back to throw, Howell. That one is slants in the corner. And the Commanders are gonna have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting, pick a play you think they would run here, and just load up for it and see what happens. Out of the gun, it's Howell. Looking and finding Thomas in the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Commanders are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. Seven here as the kicks away. This fielded right at the goal line. And up to about the 26 yard line, just across the 25. The Eagles offense is going to take over late in this first half. And they've got a little under 40 seconds to go if they want to try to put something together here. First down, Hurts. And he's got his man in stride, complete. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Hurts. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Hurts sets up to throw it. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. 
The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Here's third and six. Throwing his hurts. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Here's Hurts to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. From the gun, it's Hurts. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. And this defense definitely had his head there on third down, and he's pretty fortunate. They didn't call for grounding on this one. That was a good 10 feet over everyone's head. And likely time for one final play here in the half, so they will go for it on fourth down. They'll throw now on the final play. He's going to take a shot at the end zone. Why not? Complete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7, seven, seven, our score. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime We thought halftime this one would report. be a close battle Coach. coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And he will not bring it out, it's a touchback. Now Washington gonna retake the field for drive number two. comes in this might be a free play over the middle brought in by Dotson he'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31 well we looked at each other right when he flinched we knew that that flag was coming yeah offsides easy call mark off the five and keep it moving A boost here to start the drive after the penalty. It's first and five. 
Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. Look, I realize on any play call that is properly executed, didn't go for a touchdown. But the runs that really make it work are the ones where you just get what you need, right? And he barely got the first down, but he got it. They'll throw on first down. Here's Hal. Over the middle complete. That's Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 17 yards that time at a Washington first. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Hal's throw taken in by Samuel. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely, and no matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. So a big penalty there on the face mask leads to first and ten. Robinson up the middle. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. I think what we just saw there, partner, was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. In the third quarter here in D.C., a second and ten upcoming. Now Hal. Looking for the crossing receiver. He's got him. It's Samuel. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Charles, to move the chains that time, they had to complete it in the double coverage, and they got it done. And it's never easy overcoming multiple defenders, but he sure made it look simple. Found the right spot to exploit and won his one on And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. The first and goal looked like things were set up nicely, and now all of a sudden on second and goal, Charles, a big challenge ahead of them. And you have to know when you're this close to the goal line, things are going to happen faster, so you've got to get the ball out quick. Not going to have much time in the pocket before the defenders bring pressure. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here, brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. A gain of five, but not enough, leads to a fourth and goal. I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. Sly able to put this one through. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. Well, they don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. To the main field goal. Here's Sly to kick this one away. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. 
And they find themselves down on the scoreboard following the field goal a moment ago. And I think even though they trail in the game now, I would consider that a win for their defense. And that's probably what they're telling the offense when they get to the bench. Hey, the onus is on you guys now. Get back out there and get us the lead back. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Second down. Here's Hertz. The left side completion to Jones. First target, first catch, and a first down. And until that point, we haven't seen Julio Jones. That's hard to believe here this late in the game. And no one more frustrated than Julio Jones because receivers feed off of catches. That's their fuel, and that's also their affirmation. And he hasn't been getting much of that in this game, and their team is losing, and he wants to have a better effect on the game. Just the first connection, Ryan to Jones there. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold them to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. They go play action with Hurts. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. He'll look to throw. This will be caught by Brown. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Face mask. Defense. The Charles are trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. Now the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Here's second down and three. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They'll come up now on second down. They're going to look to throw. A lot of practice time, a lot of thinking goes into two-minute drills, even on the defensive side. So now you want to make sure the guys understand. Continue to be aggressive, but make sure you're smart in doing so. The noise is getting deafening. Here's third down and three. Back to throw. And it's nearly intercepted. Probably should have been. Had he caught it, it would have sealed it. Instead, one more chance coming up on fourth down. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. The kick by Elliott is good. And we are all tied here in the final stages. So a big kick to get this back to even. Yet now the worry is, did you leave too much time on the clock? Because another field goal the other way, that does you in. You're exactly right. You didn't get into overtime yet. So now as a defense, you've got to think to yourself, you can't play prevent defense and just give up big chunks of yardage in front of you. But you also can't let anyone behind you. So you sit right on the line between the two play the best defense you can and not make it easy for him to move the ball downfield. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And a Washington offense heading out. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, 
That's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Powell to throw. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. They'll try again here, second and 10. Here's Howell. Pass complete to Robinson. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. What do you think, play this safe? Just worry about getting OT? Yeah, don't make any risky throws. It's gonna change the outcome. But if anyone slips, take the big shot. Well, here's a big one. You can just feel it. This is third down now. Powell out of the shotgun. And Dotson, he's got it. And he's gonna have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Obviously a big first down right there. Yeah, they still got a hustle. They got to get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. But I don't think necessarily you need to spike it. But they've got to continue to move quickly. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Now he'll look to throw it. That's out wide here for Robinson. Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Now second and four. Another throw for Howell. Going to be caught downfield by Dotson. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. What a call right there. That is so well executed offensively. A massive play in this game. And now all of a sudden, they are in field goal range. And with a chance to walk out of here, winners. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. A bit of extra Joey pressure Sly now for this one on Joey Sly. Sly. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to almost certainly win the football game. And his kick is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So they tried to ice him there, but it's fair to say it did not have the intended effect. And I've known kickers that take it as an affront. And there he says, you think you're gonna rattle me? Think again. to the made field goal, and here's Sly to kick this one away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. They'll come up first and 10 here. One final shot, they'll look to throw. This is Smith to the ground. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 
Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner, although on that last play they were so backed up it would have taken a miracle and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense.